Welcome, my darlings, to Animal X. Is this conclusive proof that the Pembroke Dock Sea Serpent exists? This photo was taken by a customer at the Shipwright Arms that afternoon. Or is there another explanation for what this photograph contains? So what do you think it is? I don't know. It's very big, whatever it is, because I've been down on this stretch of rocks here and they go on for 70 or 80 feet. It was supposedly swimming against the tide, so the witnesses say, and this piece here they say is the head because it was seen lifted out of the water. So what could it be? Let's take a look at the usual suspects. Whale species come in various shapes and sizes. It could be a sea lion, a dolphin, or even a giant eel. What about the possibility of it being a giant eel, a fish? It's unlikely to be any kind of fish because fish flex in the horizontal plane that is side to side. Uh, they said it was just propelling itself, possibly with limbs underneath the water because none of this part of the body was moving. If it was a fish, they'd have seen it flexing side to side and causing quite a big wake as it did so. If what people are seeing is a real creature, can science explain what it is and where it comes from? Well, we don't know for sure until we either catch one or get some biological material for, from one of them. Uh, but it seems to be some sort of reptile. Um, when people talk about sea serpents, they often mention plesiosaurs. Plesiosaurs belong to a group of reptiles that are completely extinct. But there were marine reptiles around in the Mesozoic that have living relatives and, and descendants. Um, these were a group of marine crocodiles called the Thalatosuchians, which were very much like today's crocodiles, except they had flippers rather than legs, and they had a fin on the tail. And the other group were the Mosasaurs. Mosasaurs were uh, relate, related to the Varanid lizards or monitor lizards. Um, you call them goannas in uh, Australia. It's possible that these are descendants of either the Thalatosuchian crocodiles or the Mosasaurs. Renowned cryptozoologist, the Reverend Lionel Fanthorpe, has already investigated these waters, scouring it with sonar equipment. Perhaps he can shed some light on the Pembroke Dock sea creature. Well, I think there are three possibilities. One, that uh, it was a false alarm in good faith. The second of the possibilities is that it really was some unknown aquatic creature like the Ogopogo of Canada or Moor Gower that's been seen off the coast of Cornwall or the infamous Loch Ness Monster. I mean, the fact that the coelacanth turned up 10 million years after he was supposed to have died out shows that we don't know everything there is to know about the oceans and the estuaries. Another possibility, which I think is probably the most likely of the three, is that there's a a Ministry of Defence establishment not so many miles from here and perhaps it was uh, a miniature submarine of a secret type and when these very honest and reliable witnesses described what they called a diamond shaped head it could have been a piece of a gunning tower or it could have been the prow of a miniature sub. Sounds like the Royal Navy had a few secrets of their own lurking in the deep. But the witnesses are all adamant what they saw that day in the water was no mini-sub. It was a living, breathing creature. A sighting that defies explanation. A similar mystery is playing out half a world away in Frisco Bay. I'm sending Daniel and Natalie to the US to check it out. This is what awaits them. Look at this and wonder.